Austin, thank you so much. And speaking of FEMA, we have to turn to another point that is very important to drive home during a time like this. Whenever we see a disaster, we always see a lot of misinformation popping up on social media. And unfortunately, that tends to get shared a lot and a lot. And it's something that we are seeing uh, here right now with Helene. Uh, we are seeing some claims that the government is not helping or that FEMA might even be blocking supplies from coming into certain locations. WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg verified some of those claims we're seeing on that front. And guys, there's been several posts circulating on social media just like this one claiming FEMA is confiscating supplies. So to verify these claims, we spoke with FEMA, Tennessee's emergency management and North Carolina Governor Cooper's office. We spoke with FEMA over the phone and they tell us no donations will be blocked or are blocked for Western North Carolina or any disaster site. Over the phone, they told us all supplies are welcome. People in Tennessee have also been posting similar social media posts in a post for from the Tennessee Emergency Management, they say TEMA and FEMA personnel are not confiscating supplies. Any report to the contrary is false. According to a press release from the North Carolina governor's office, FEMA has delivered more than 1.8 million meals, 2.5 million liters of water, and more than 21,000 people have been registered for assistance. There are also more than 1,000 North Carolina National Guard soldiers deployed who are surging food, water and supplies in conducting search and rescue operations. Now there are points of distribution for these supplies that have been set up around each county. We have those addresses on our website, WCNC.com. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.